think we should partner with the diverse ecosystem of players who drive at services demand. This includes enterprise customers across various industries, manufacturing, healthcare, transportation, to co-create and deploy tailored edge solution. Collaboration with cloud providers, IT companies, and independent software vendors, ISVs, is essential to develop and, it, and integrate innovative edge application. Finally, engaging with technology integrator and system integrators ensures seamless deployment and ongoing support. A strong ecosystem fosters innovation and accelerates the adoption of edge services. I'm going to break this into two topics. The first one is going to be around moving some existing workloads, but as a new architecture, and that is for RAM. And when I think about uh, Open RAN or, or Virtual RAN or Cloud RAN, I think about Ericsson, Nokia, Mavenir, Samsung, uh, and NEC. And so those are the kind of relationships that we're working with, as well as the operators, to move RAN from an appliance uh, to an industry standard server from HPE at the cell site. However, there's so much more. And I really want the operators to start thinking about this. I talk about this very frequently, and that is AI uh, and, uh, and gaming are all kind of uh, low latent required uh, applications and we, uh, of today and the, and the future. And as LLMs get trained and enterprises tune those, they're going to need inferencing capabilities. And so over the network and really move to the edge, inferencing servers presents a tremendous potential, whether at the cell site or in a geographically close uh, data center, it makes perfect sense from an architecture standpoint. So I think there's a wealth of opportunity coming for the operators to take advantage of as we think about AI and low latent gaming. I think the real thing telcos have to think about is where can they be generating revenue and ROI dollars that will justify their investments um, at the edge. And so the right place to look for them is markets that are growing and applications that are, are generating revenue. And then who are the partners, as you said, who are gonna get them there? Um, from a market perspective, healthcare, obviously burgeoning, retail is coming back, manufacturing and smart cities, probably the areas that are gonna generate um, the largest market growth. And then within that, there's a few applications that, that really cut across all of them. Things like AI analytics, um, things like security, things like content caching. Uh, and from a partnership perspective, if you look at someone like HPE, for example, they've just launched a brand new uh, server product called DL145, which is perfect for doing all those things I talked about, AI analytics, security, content caching um, at the edge. DL145 is um, brand new. It's based on AMD's latest CPU called Sienna, um, and it goes anywhere from eight core to 64 core. So it's really the type of product that telcos will, will need to generate the, uh, the ROI at the edge for, uh, for those investments. I had a fascinating discussion at some panels that I chaired at uh, Mobile World Congress last week. And it had some heavy weights from various telcos participating. And the big question is, where are the new revenues and what do they need to do to realize those? And I think there was a general agreement that most of the revenues are gonna come from industries outside of our traditional channels. They're gonna come from smart cities and smart manufacturing and public safety and military applications. And for the most part, we're gonna to have to partner with experts in those areas. Companies that build automation in factories, companies that serve public safety, companies that know healthcare inside and out and become the go-to for those when they need flexible, high-performance communications infrastructure.